Okay, here we have a case with a, uh, a golfer who is having trouble with his scapular stability, which is leading to uh, some posterior superior glenohumeral uh, shoulder joint impingement. So we've already uh, done some treatment, which included uh, active release of uh, all the scar tissue and the rotator cuff muscles. Uh, and now we're on to the uh, activation rehab stage. So what I'm demonstrating here is I'm using the acupuncture needles and I'm going to try to stimulate the nervous system or specifically the nerves that are serving uh, some of the major scapular stability um, muscles. So here I have two needles in the rhomboids major and minor and here I have a line of needles in the inferior trapezius. Uh, now I'm going to stimulate these motor points in order to uh, get the nervous system active in that area. So I'm just using a pointer plus stimulation. If you can zoom in on here, you can probably see some contraction. So by using the pointer plus unit, I can cause some contraction in the muscle. And you can see that right in here if you zoom in on it. You can see the effect that it's having on the scapula, how it's drawing it down. So we don't want to do it for too long. We just want to do it enough to get that motor innervation activated for the rehabilitation. And here you can see the contraction of the rhomboid or here. Do you see that? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use a technique to help the patient uh, maintain that scapular pinch or to keep his shoulders or his scapula retracted. And the way we're going to do that is by use of a product called Kinesio Tape. And the idea of the Kinesio Tape is to constantly give his nervous system uh, feedback as to where his shoulder is. So we're going to use the tape on top of the skin and then the cutaneous receptors on the skin are going to send messages back to the brain um, telling the brain whenever his shoulders protract. And the way it's going to do that is because the kinesio tape has a certain degree of uh, stretchability or flexibility in it. So whenever his shoulders roll forward, the cutaneous receptors will pick that up, send a message to his brain, which will remind him to keep his shoulders back. Okay, so we're going to use the kinesio tape and we're going to put the strands of the tape along the lines of all of his scapular stabilizers. So in this case, I'm lining it up with his inferior trapezius. Now we're going to put some lines onto his rhomboids groups as well as his middle trapezius. The whole time I'm adding stretch, I'm having the person retract their scapula. And the reason I'm having him retract the scapula is so that if he protracts the scapula, the stretch of the tape will be picked up by the cutaneous system or by the skin receptors, therefore signaling the cortex that his scapula have now protracted. And then the last one I'm going to put along the line of the levator scapula. Keep the shoulders pinched back. So now you can see, if ever he lets the scapula go forward, he'll feel that stretch in the, uh, in the tape. And that's what's going to do the signaling. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to work on reprogramming his nervous system or reprogramming his, uh, his motor output to increase the activity in the scapular stabilizers. So now that we've done the motor stimulation in the, on the nervous system and we've added this, this constant cutaneous feedback, We'll have him uh, do his rehabilitation program um, in hopes that now his, his um, positioning of his scapula will be proper as he's doing his exercises and therefore we'll get good proper contraction of all of the scapular stabilizers.